This is version two of the foam core mock-up for the College of the Creatives cabinet. So this is basically just a stand-in for the packaging that the cabinet's gonna be sent in. So as discussed in the written materials and in the emails, essentially this is an organization that was founded by Gertrude Stein and by uh, Eleanor Roosevelt. Um, the chapter that is sending this is based out of Los Angeles, and uh, this is their initiation tool or their uh, cabinet that they're going to be sending to their members to get them to join. So this is actually going to be made out of plywood. Um, it's just a stand, and this is about about the approximate size of the actual box. The recipients are going to get this um, in the mail. They're not going to have requested it or sent it. It's going to uh, arrive to them unsolicited, and then it'll be the, probably banded, or it might be inside of a cardboard box. We're not sure, but inside they're going to find a letter that's addressed to them immediately. So they'll open it and basically inside, so it's just a stand-in, it'll address them by name, so dear, whomever it may be, and then it's gonna briefly kind of give them an overview of who's sending it. So it'll be sent by the last surviving member of the Los Angeles um, College of the Creatives chapter, um, and it's gonna explain that they've been chosen to join the College of the Creatives and that they feel that the time is now or is uh, perfect for the college to return. So inside they're gonna find the initiation tool, which is a micro arcade cabinet and puzzle box. And then they're also gonna find uh, basically a power plug that will be attached to the cabinet itself. And then inside, just uh, this is just batting, but it's a stand-in for uh, Excelsior straw, which we'll use to um, basically make sure that the box arrives undamaged. So we're gonna put that aside for now. We'll walk you through the box of this experience. So what we have here is the cabinet. Um, what it is is basically going to be a beautiful, bespoke um, piece of electronics. So it's going to reference uh, mid-century modern uh, TVs and furnitures, uh, mini cord machines, and so it'll be made out of walnut. This is going to be 3D printed, and uh, it's going to have an actual screen um, that will be off. As soon as they plug it in and power it up, um, it's going to boot up, and it's just going to be basically text prompts. Um, until the cabinet's fully unlocked, and inside they're gonna find that it says, you know, addresses them by name, so, you know, whoever the recipient is, hello, would you like to play a game, yes or no? And what they're gonna do is they're gonna start a game, um, it's like a choose your own adventure game, and the game basically is gonna put them in a series of moral, morally gray or quandrous scenarios based around Nazi threats to art and culture and McCarthyism era threats to art and culture. Once they navigate and choose the correct set of answers, the back is gonna open, so that's gonna be actuated. That'll fall open, and in the back, they're gonna find basically a member's guide, which will list um, and tell them all about the college, its traditions, and then uh, give the history uh, of the college. Also within this back pouch, they're gonna find a cipher key or coin, and in conjunction with the book, they'll use this to unlock a series of uh, puzzles and mazes that are coded in the book, and then um, kind of related to the side of the cabinet, which is going to be etched or engraved with a maze, um, they're going to find instructions on how to unlock this. So the, kind of hidden in the side is going to be a fob, a magnetic fob, that they'll use to navigate uh, the maze. And what that will do is that will actuate a hidden drawer that they can then open. Inside, they're going to find a key. This key part, and this is just really rough, is gonna be used to open this final hatch or door. And when they open it inside, they're gonna find the prestige, which is the final letter with uh, a member's pin. So what will happen is inside, it will reveal who sent the, um, the cabinet to them. It'll basically list our call to action, which is we'd like them to help us protect art and culture, specifically related, related to uh, public, publicly funded art. And then a final code um, and a way to contact us. And what that code will do is then, after they beat the game, it'll prompt them to enter a code. And then when they enter that code, it'll activate the cabinet and make it into a fully, fully playable arcade cabinet where they can download games and use that beyond the experience. So this is the College of the Creatives cabinet. This is our foam core mock-up. Um, and this is about an approximate um, representation of what we're gonna be sending recipients. So thank you for watching.